A wise quote from Virgin Galactic goes, No matter where each of us stand on this planet we call home, we all look up to the same place. That's why space belongs to everyone, the adventure, the audacious, and the curious. It's freaking epic. And if you're only watching this footage for the first time, you're probably extremely mind blown as billionaire Richard Branson, who owns Virgin Galactic, and his crew are freaking legendary. Say goodbye to old, outdated, traditional rocket countdowns on land. Virgin Galactic's SS-2 is a winged spaceship that is carried to its launch altitude by a scaled composite, the White Knight 2. Once at launch altitude, the SS-2 is released and rockets up into the upper atmosphere. What's more impressive is its return back to Earth as it glides back down to perform a conventional runway landing. unlike any other space vessels that are out there. And so, if you ever want to go up to space, ticket sales are now open to the public. They'll just only cost you $450,000 each as a starting price, with a $150,000 deposit, of course, offering three different types of packages. A single seat purchase, package seats for couples, friends, or family, and or the opportunity to book full flights. Virgin Galactic also says that trips will last about 90 minutes. From the liftoff with the White Knight, your release and launch of the SS-2, weightless minutes spent in space, breathtaking views, and then touchdown flight back down to Earth. Which means now is the best time to be saving your money if you ever want to go up to space. Although, it's said that companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin run by tech entrepreneurs Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos, are also working on plans to eventually support commercial space travel. And I'm thinking when they eventually, or if eventually, they figure it out, with competition, of course, ticket prices will most likely come down. And who knows? By then, we may already have a base on our closest exoplanet, which is Proxima Centauri b. The thought alone is just literally out of this world crazy. But for now and the foreseeable future, Richard Branson, Virgin Galactic, the White Knight, and the SS2 are probably the coolest things on this planet. Anyways, I'll leave you guys with more footage of the SS2 and Virgin Galactic's first trip up to space. What does space flight with Virgin Galactic entail? Well, it has a unique combination of revolutionary design innovations that make it like no other vehicle that has ever gone before. Firstly, air launch. Most rockets you see make a loud and bumpy vertical launch from the ground. To launch from the ground requires huge amounts of energy to lift the vehicle from a static start and to propel it through the thickest parts of the Earth's atmosphere. Instead, Virgin Galactic space flight starts with a smooth runway takeoff not dissimilar to a conventional commercial airliner. The spaceship, attached to a mothership, gracefully ascends to the launch altitude of around 50,000 feet, bypassing the thickest parts of the Earth's atmosphere, making it far more energy efficient and far more comfortable for the passengers inside. When the vehicles have reached the launch altitude and location, Mission Control provides clearance for release. Release, release, release. The pilots activate the launch and set spaceship free. Within seconds, the rocket motor ignites as the vehicle starts its rapid ascent toward the stars. During this awe-inspiring journey, the spaceship reaches speeds of up to three times the speed of sound, and out the window, passengers will watch the color change from blue through indigo, and then to the iconic inky black as they soar into space. Once the rocket motor shuts down, 
Passengers will unbuckle their seatbelts and float effortlessly around the cabin, enjoying the childlike freedom of zero gravity. The cabin becomes a spacious three-dimensional playground as passengers experience space firsthand, helmet-free. The ship has an incredible 17 windows, and passengers won't be able to resist being drawn towards the undeniable, euphoric beauty that lies beneath, as planet Earth looks right back at them in all her majesty. Whilst enjoying weightlessness and the life-changing view, the vehicle is preparing itself for re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere, utilizing the second design innovation of Virgin Galactic's space system, the Feather. Re-entry is arguably the most challenging aspect of space travel and has largely been approached in two ways, with winged vehicles or with capsule spacecraft. The revolutionary aspect of Virgin Galactic Feather technology is that it enables the vehicle to act like a winged vehicle when it is advantageous to be a winged vehicle and then behave as a capsule when a capsule design gives you the advantage. On the way to space, the spaceship folds in half, with the booms moving upward to a 60-degree position as our pilots put the vehicle into an elegant backflip. This points the windows straight back towards Earth, offering passengers astounding and unobstructed views. This maneuver also allows the vehicle to behave like a capsule on re-entry, spreading the friction heat generated from re-entering the Earth's atmosphere across the entire underside of the spaceship and aerodynamically enabling it to reorient itself from any position. Once the ship has slowed down and starts to travel through the thicker parts of the Earth's atmosphere, where a winged vehicle is advantageous for maneuverability, the booms come back down from their feather position and the spaceship gently glides back home safely and smoothly, ensuring a thrilling yet comfortable ride for those on board and landing on the same runway it took off from. A truly extraordinary design, fit for an out-of-this-world experience.